let's read this word of god james chapter 4 verse 3 james chapter 4 verse 3 let's read this word of god you ask and you, do not receive you ask and do not receive because you ask wrongly because you ask wrongly in order to spend what you get in order to get what you spend on your pleasures on your pleasure whenever we pray in the presence of god we sometimes we don't get it because somewhere our selfishness and self-centeredness is in what included in our prayer our pure intention of prayer should be just aiming towards heaven anything of course living here on earth to survive here on earth and helping us to focus on heaven and heaven and for jesus for and god is very important i remember one family who was searching for a house they were praying for an intention to get a house but the only intention when they were searching for a house the only the most important intention that they were asking and praying for was to get a church close by so that they can go for mass regularly because at present where they are rented the renting uh, rented house which where they stay um was very far from the church so their intention to get a house of their own that was just to get it close to their pa- uh, pa- uh, church so that they can go for mass and they got within a limited amount of budget they got a very good house just close to a church and it was a great answer the lord gave to them because their intention was pure and holy their intention was not for their pleasure but their intention was just focusing on god of course they also prayed for the material blessing to have a house of their own which god fulfilled because their basic intention which is underlying everything was to focus on jesus and focus on heaven anything that you ask always remember is it willed by god is it good for jesus in front of jesus will jesus approve it or accept it and then surely if you feel that jesus will never say no to this then you can boldly ask because the lord is inspiring you to ask praise the lord praise the sometimes lord. when we ask certain things our own conscience will tell us it is not good it is not right it is too much to ask for it is only to satisfy your pleasures there is some wrong intention in this and you are not feeling comfortable so that is self is a clear sign the holy spirit is inspiring us this is not according to his will it is only your human will so therefore we ask and do not receive because we ask wrongly in order to spend what you get on our pleasure our intention is to enjoy our life here on earth not to ready to accept the sufferings of our daily life and offer it in front of god praise the lord praise the lord enjoyment never expect in this world in this world even the more we go for enjoyment the more the suffering and struggle will be after us the only easiest way to overcome the struggles and sufferings of the world today is to accept it from the hands of god if you accept it from the hands of your husband wife and children parents mother in law father in law it will be a big burden for you it will be a big headache for you it will take all your happiness away from you but the best way to overcome the sufferings of today is to accept it from the hands of god instead of accepting it from someone else's hands that is why when jesus was being crucified in fact it was pilot herod and this roman soldiers who crucified jesus but in the garden of gethsemane jesus prayed father the cup that you give if possible let this cup of cup be taken away the cup my father has given me the sufferings which my the cross which my father has given me he accepted the cross not from pilot not from herod but from the heavenly father therefore jesus could carry the cross many of us we are not able to carry the crosses because we accept it from our husband wife and parents and others we say because of my husband there is no peace because of my wife there is no peace because of my children my life is miserable because of that person who hurts me my life is terrible that means we are accepting the suffering from the hands of human beings from the hands of others even though they are the reason for us our suffering don't look at them and bl- blame them look at god and say lord i accept this from your hand not from them i accept it from you lord praise the lord